follow crazy rich ow follow crazy rich ow follow crazy rich ow crazy rich ow <laughs> So how are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, Moisa, I want to ask you, right? This um, yep. what is your full name for yourself? My full name. Yeah. Uh, Mois Ali Saifuddin. Maurice Ali Saifuddin. Oh, okay. That's why everyone call you Mois. Mois. <laughs> when is this player started? Player started uh in the mid of July, year two thousand one. Um, after SPM, so my results were not that good, and then my father said. Uh, you go and find your own work. Uh. No need to study anymore. But then I wanted to study somehow. Uh. Mm-hmm. Forced by my mother and also my brother, my elder brother. So what happened was I had an argument with my dad. So I, I took my mom's car and ran away for four months. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so then I ended up uh, through some friends. Mm-hmm. I ended up in the streets of Damansara Uptown. Okay. So uh, it was like a night bazaar. So I was selling uh, t-shirts using my mom's Nissan Sunny back then. Okay. All right. So uh, using uh, the car, just open up the booth, the okay. car booth, and then just car setting up. Sales. Like, yes, something yeah, exactly like a car boot sale. Uh-huh. So I was selling a lot of hip hop clothing like Pele Pele, Fubu, Triple Five Soul. These were the in brands back then. So uh, while reselling, then I started printing my own T-shirts. Okay. And uh, back then, the brand was formerly formally known as Uptown Players. Oh, your brand was Uptown Players. Okay. Yes, Uptown Players. Right. So because I was in Damansara Uptown, uh, like a player, you know, got a lot of friends everywhere, got so many girlfriends. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from selling from a car booth. Uh, and then having like a small stall, just like one table mm-hmm. on the street, mm-hmm. until it became a uh, twenty by twenty feet, a uh, twenty by twenty five feet shop oh. on the street. All right. How many years was that? That's, that's how it expanded. Uh. So from from how many years to the twenty by twenty feet? Uh, the transformation it happened within twenty four months or uh, two years. Oh, okay. Right, so from 2001 until the place closed down um, in 2005, 31st of December. So I remember this date like forever, you know, it was like mm-hmm. a very sad moment mm-hmm. uh, of uh, my life. But then it was also an opening for me. Mm-hmm. So while I was selling clothes in the night bazaar, I was still going to college. I self-funded my way through college because it made me very rajin because I was self-funding for my, for my own money, you know, own yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once Uptown closed down, so I was fully focused like studying and uh, just selling clothes to friends on here because mm-hmm. at the time we didn't have any sort of uh, social media. Uh, what happened was uh, I transferred my credits to a university in England. While I was working, uh, while I was studying in England, I flipped burgers in McDonald's for a few months because it was self-funding. So whatever money I saved uh, during my uptown days until 2005, so I managed to use that money uh, to complete my uh, education. So I came out with a 2.1 uh, honors degree in business administration. Wow. I specialized in uh, international marketing and international wow. economic. So that was my achievement from whatever I did uh, from the night bazaar. So then when I got back uh, Malaysia in 2009, so I started doing a timber flooring business. I, I joined a friend okay. and then I made some little bit of money and I started back uh, my uptown players, formerly known. and. I, I minimalized it into players. So this today I'm wearing my 19th anniversary t-shirt. Yeah. So uh, very proud uh, whatever I've achieved, you know, without, uh, uh, until today still self-funding uh, without taking any loans or whatsoever. So I believe in my own philosophy. Uh, slowly but surely. Uh, very happy. Uh, so players is doing okay, yeah. <laughs> 
I come I come to know players like um about two years two two to three years ago. Then I see my friend Alex, our friend. So he starts selling yep. players shirt. Then I look at it. The quality, and everything, the design is um very good. You know, it's like it's like I thought it was an international brand. We try to portray ourselves as international. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, we always keep our price points local. Mm. There are many local brands here in Malaysia. They sell T-shirts of like 180 ringgit, mm -hmm. uh, and then their fabric also they use just like normal fabric. So you know, and uh, and we hear a lot of feedbacks coming from customers. Wow, any local brand. Tapi harga macam Fir'auna. Yes, we, we care about customers' feedback. It's very important to us. Because our main concern is definitely quality. The end customer user's experience. Mm. So uh, what we do, uh, like for players, right? Our unique selling point is uh, our, our fabric. Yeah, it's very comfortable. I still keep mine. <laughs> Very nice, to wear. Thank you. very nice to wear. It's 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 soft and then uh it's it's uh, I think it's very uh how to say it? it's very suitable for our climate here. It's Definitely, not easy, you know. Yeah. yeah, because I wear it like almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling t-shirts for like twenty years now, mm -hmm. so you know um, you want to feel comfortable, mm -hmm. and then you don't want to like feel like hot despite you're wearing like a thicker fabric. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, so, uh, like uh, players' fabric, you can even wash like 50 times. Mm -hmm. It's still soft. It's going to be the same, uh, what you call your neck. You know, it doesn't mm -hmm. go down like this. So, it just stays the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is there is an there, um, in-house designer or anything like, you know, to design your, your shirt, everyone? Anything? Yes, I do have an in-house design team. Wow. I have an in-house uh, videography team as well. Mm -hmm. For our um, all our marketing purposes, I lead the designing team coming up with the concepts for every drop. There was one time in 2017, I almost wanted to give up. I wanted to sell off my brand. Yeah, I had some uh, mismanagement issues in my company. We had some conflict, and business was doing really really bad. My previous graphic designer left. So it was like a really down, down point yeah. of my career. But I think I did a U-turn. A U-turn. So you know, I, I thought like, okay, like, why not give it another try? Until today, we are still here. <laughs> not bad. And I'm talking, <laughs> and I'm talking to you. Good. You mentioned to me that you had a new drop, right? When you say drop, is a new line, right? Yep. Yeah. So a new line. So. Is that the one that you're wearing? Uh, no, this is our 19th anniversary t-shirt. Okay. So the, the new drop was like uh, a combination of different, different uh, products like bomber jackets, varsity jackets, a baseball jersey, and a couple of t-shirt designs. Is there any, any yeah. new plan coming up after? Yeah. After okay, this? that's a very good question there. So, okay, now I'm just going to pull a bit, yeah? Okay, can you see what's written top here? Yep, players. There's six players, MCs. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's the six MCs here. Uh -huh. So there's uh, Sigma, Ben Zulu, Bihad, uh, Kimi Kimo, Yoni, right, and Luca Sikta, featuring with uh, DJ T Bone, one of the uh, pioneer DJs in Malaysia. They're going to drop players' first ever single on the 31st of seven. Uh, we're going to drop the music video. Is there any tips for the young entrepreneur that want to build their own brand? Don't give up. Come up with your own ideas. You know, if you think uh, there are some Western brands that you really like, you can use them as your benchmark. You, you, can, you can copy, but don't make it obvious. You know, you, maybe you can, you can take the concept, you know, do it yourself, be yourself. And just don't give up, you know. It's, it's a long process. It is like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and more to come. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, guys. So we're going to give away three T-shirts uh, with an autograph from one of our rappers. All right. So what you got to do is follow Crazy Rich Ow. All right. Drop a command and make sure you guys follow players. All right. And you might be a lucky winner. <laughs>